Good morning. Welcome to the Ural Motorcycle Show with Dave Stahl and motorcycle monkey Clint August. We are going to go riding to San Francisco in this thing. What do you think? <laughs> Clint, is this the coolest? Come on, stretch your legs out. Oh. Enjoy. Don't get all crampy. And no, we're not going to ride it because we don't have helmets on. Put down your phones and put down your, you know, no All need to worry. Stuff. Yeah, no need to worry. But I had one of these a few years back, and I've been bugging Clint when they decide to bring him back to the United States. I said, Clint, you got to ride this thing. You got to ride this thing. You got to ride. What did you think? Uh, I love it, actually. It takes some getting used to. It uh, really does. Which I told than, you. Yes. Dave okay. and also Paul from GP Motorcycles, actually, down on India Street, where I got this. He actually, first thing he said was, listen, man, when you take this out, you really, if you haven't done it before, have to get used to it. <laughs> it's not like you think. Well, and they didn't even show you. They just said go. They did, and you know what? That, that tells me that they have confidence in me. God bless them for that. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? They did explain a few things. One thing that I really, well, a lot of things that I love about this, you can detach the sidecar right. if you want. Right. But I wouldn't because this thing is so deceiving. Yeah, look at the size of this trunk yeah. right here. Well, That's huge if you look whole, how deep that the is. The whole neat thing about this is if you're going to bring somebody with you and you got some gear, you want to maybe go on a picnic, and they and the person doesn't want to ride on the back and you're not comfortable you know two up this is ideal it is well think about it if you do want to go two up you got three people comfortably on this bike you got your foot pegs back here that you probably can't see from that angle but i wouldn't detach the uh, sidecar from this because no. it's very deceiving so this has true two-wheel drive so when you engage the two-wheel drive it's a little lever right back here you probably can't see it but it's between the sidecar it's yeah. right here and this is actually attached to a shaft. So there's no joking around there, man. This will get you through stuff that you never think this thing could ever go through. You also have your luggage rack. This tire will fit any of the positions, all three positions on the bike. Um, you have a 5.1 gallon gas tank. And yes. you got a shovel. Utility shovel, which Why I would love. you need a shovel? End of the world, baby. <laughs> and you got a jerry can on the side. You do. You even have fog lights here. You can attach a winch. I've watched videos where guys and gals are attaching a winch to get you out of places that this may not be able to get out of, but there aren't many places. I'm telling you, this will go over a bunch of rocks, the mud, the dirt. The instrumentation panel is very, very simple. It'll get your odometer, your miles per gallon. You just press this button here. I'll turn this on. There we go. Yeah. And it'll just give you a little, it's not a super fancy readout, but it gives you what you need to know. And I got to tell you something, unbelievably comfortable. The position on this, and this really tripped me out. I love how I'm sitting straight up, Dave, and I uh -huh. love the fact that my arms aren't so far forward. I don't feel like I'm stretching. I feel like my posture's good. Yeah. And reverse in this Easy. is not clunky at no. all. Uh -uh. In fact, I'll show you. Well, this has been around since this design since 1939. Yeah, so 39, they took this off the R71 BMW from Germany. They had a sort of a peace treaty between Russia and Germany about how much territory they would each want at okay. that time. Okay, everybody get back, we'll see you Oh no, it's easy. It's this simple Watch little heel shift. over the fence. No, it's a simple little heel shift. Take the parking brake off, the lever, and then you just throw it in. Okay, I think I've got it in gear. I don't have it in gear. There we, <laughs> there go. we go, there we go. I mean, look at that. Yeah. And then all you do to take it out is you press down with your toes, put it in gear, I think I'm in gear. Now I'm in gear. Yeah. But it really is a simple, simple bike to ride, except you do need to be ready when you go around some of the turns. That's right. Because if you when you're turning right, this thing, you do feel it like oh, it yeah. does want to lift a little bit, but it's, I don't want to scare people. This is a no, really no, no, fun no, bike no, no, to ride. No. You just got to be aware. And it's less than 800 pounds, the whole package. Which shocks me. It's I 737 know. pounds on this thing or something Make like that. Make a hard right turn and it'll that'll explain it to you. Right. Because this will pick up. But let me tell you, this will hold almost 600 pounds on this, this well, yeah. vehicle. And get 40 miles per gallon if you keep your foot out of it. Which shocks me. I know. Uh, when, yeah, when, when we read those specs, I just it shocks me that it can do that. Now, it's not a speed demon. When you're yeah. on the freeway, you might hit 75 if you're lucky. So where can you go get one of these? GP Motorcycles on India Street. They have a huge selection, yeah, by the way, of all yeah. kinds of bikes. But I this one right here there. is, why, because you, you'll buy I one? I ain't going in there. There's just too many of my toys in there. <laughs> I'm just going to leave them right where they're at. Yeah, all it's, right, buddy. Hey, it's well, amazing. It's been fun. Enjoy the ride. Go get the wife. Yes, and 17 and change is where these start. Yeah, how cheap is that? Come on. And For 40 this, miles yeah. per gallon, you can't beat it. San Diego Motorcycle, throwing it back to you guys. That is cool. That is very cool. 
My dog's going to love it. Such a throwback, <laughs> you know? Isn't it, though? It really is. And, it, and once you get, it's a cruiser. It's not, you know, 70 mile an hour top speed. You're not going to break any land speed records, but it's a going up a highway one, just enjoying the day, stopping for coffee. Yeah, that's the way to roll. That's cool.